Hi, this micro lecture is on work. As always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes and one to two sentence summary and your follow-up questions on Google Forms. All right, work. The more official definition, um, although the definition of work is always a little bit um, hazy, uh, but in this case, it's a force applied uh, to overcome some resistance. Uh, in this case, that resistance could be thought of as just the mass, so kind of inertia. Um, however, it's usually kind of overcoming something else as well. So in this case, uh, it's a force applied, and, and it's not so much uh, the idea of time that matters as the distance um, that matters. So for that reason, a less official definition, um, although this is what the formula is based on, is it's a force applied for some distance. Both of those I'm not too happy with, so let's talk about what it does as opposed to kind of the official definitions. So work causes one of two things, um, a change in energy uh, in basically one of two ways. First, it can cause a transfer of energy from one object to another, or it can cause a transformation of energy from one type to another. Now let's talk about what these words transfer and transforms mean, because we're going to expect you to use the correct one in the correct scenario. So an example of work being done uh, would be if ball A comes in and hits ball B, it's doing work on ball B by applying a force to it over a very short distance, maybe not tons of work, but it is some. And this would be a case where energy is being transferred from one object to another. Specifically, it comes in with kinetic energy. This one has none because it's not moving. And then after they collide, uh, the cue ball is no longer moving and it's transferred all of its energy to ball B. And so in this case, this is an example of a transformation. In other words, energy moves from one object to another. On the other hand, we could have an energy transformation, and that's where we have uh, energy um, related to an object changing from one type to another. Uh, it's not being given off or like uh, transferred somewhere else. Um, in fact, it's still maintaining certain levels of energy, but that energy is changing what type of energy it is. Uh, so in this case, gravity does work on our ball to pull it down the hill. And as a result, it transforms its potential energy into kinetic energy. So as it begins to move, that potential energy turns into kinetic energy. And that is what a transformation is. It's changing the type of energy. Now, the definition, or sorry, the uh, formula for work is work equals force times distance. And the distance is in the direction of the force. Uh, it could also be in the opposite direction of the force, but it must be along the same axis. So if you're pushing it sideways, the only distances that count are sideways distances, or the sideways components. For that reason, it's often more formally written as force times distance times cosine theta, where theta is the angle between distance and the force. Uh, we probably won't deal with those scenarios too much. We'll talk a little bit about them, um, but don't worry about this formula quite as much. Also, it's important to note that work is sometimes positive or negative, as well as other energies are, and that usually just represents whether or not you're adding energy to a system or taking energy away from a system. Uh, and as always, like all forms of energy, work is measured in joules. That's it for this one. Do three or more bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentence summary, and your follow-up questions on Google Forms.